All right, this is a live broadcast, and we're going to be starting here in a few minutes. So just patience, everybody. And I'm going to do a little chat here. All right, let's see if everybody's going to join. I will check the stats. Let's see here. And we will see who joins. All right, we're going to join this live broadcast. Okay. We are going to start soon. All right, so we're going to start soon here. We will see that if everybody's around. Let's make sure everybody's coming in. All right, so we're going to join this here. Just give me five minutes, and I'm going to make sure that everybody is logging in. Uh, we're going to wait about five minutes here, and I just sent out an email to the list, and this is a live webinar. I just wanted to do it to help everybody out. And so we will see um, who's going to join in. There's people coming in right now. So people are coming in. It's great that uh, you're here. I see Francis, Julius, Keith. I just sent this email out literally uh, a minute and a half ago, not even that. So people are going to be rolling in right now. There's already uh, five attendees and just in a matter of the last 30 seconds. And when we get started, we're going to be doing that squeeze page just like I sent you out in the email. And this is going to be using the video effects press WordPress theme uh, but you can also use my sales press pro the premium version because it does all this and much much more um, but I'm going to be using the video effects press theme for this so just a couple of minutes more and we will start this uh, live training here we are live right now on the hangout I wish there's a feature where you can actually talk to everybody and not have it uh, you know published live on the on the Google Hangout uh, maybe you can do that I don't know all right so just another minute here we'll get rocking and rolling All right, here. I will switch switch gears here. So this is my first Google Hangout that I've ever done in my entire life, and so I hope this actually works. <laughs> and uh, I think I can probably see your chats. I'm not sure. Okay. 
Uh, Joe, this is training for video effects. I don't know why you are asking me that question on this web on this webinar. That's uh, fairly. Um, I don't like that at all, Joe. That you do that. So I have a help desk where you can talk about other products and your questions. Hi, Julius. Nice to see you. And we're going to be starting here in a couple of minutes from now. Uh, John, uh, Video Effects Press is a WordPress theme, and so it's not a plugin. Uh, what you can do is, um, you know, do a new WordPress install on a subfolder and install Video Effects Press. You can do that if you want to use it as landing pages. If I were to create a plugin for this, so then everybody would install it on their themes, and then you know, there's so many different themes there that have a lot of JavaScript and a lot of JS and You'd say, well, you, you know, there, it runs into more conflicts if you actually make it into a plugin, uh, because it's a standalone WordPress theme. You know, you have a lot less conflicts. You can't, you can't please everybody with the product. Okay, we're gonna, we're gonna get rocking and rolling here, and we're gonna start this up. And first of all, this is the uh, my test site, and hopefully, all of you can see this. Maybe you can, can all of you see this here? Just maybe a couple of yeses that you can see this nice and clear, my WordPress dashboard. Yeah, just so that I know I, people are actually seeing it. Can you see my WordPress dashboard here? Yes, no, yes, no. Okay, great. So I think on the on the Google Hangouts, there's a you know like a minute and a half delay. So when I'm doing this presentation, you actually are going to be hearing me and seeing it like a minute and a half later. And so uh, that's that's how it works. Um, okay, thanks. So let's get rocking and rolling. Uh, first of all, obviously, this is your WordPress dashboard, and this is a fresh install. Uh, the only other plugin that I have installed is the uh, Member Player plugin, which is right here. And so you want to click on New Pages, and you want to go click on New. And I'm just going to do, for example, a test page. And I'm going to come down below, and I'm going to click on the content box. First of all, I'm going to get the content box area straight. So um, I'm going to go to content options and I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to make the content width about, I don't know, maybe uh, 575 in width. There's going to be no border and there's going to be a bit of a radius around it. Let's see a 10 radius. And what I'm going to do up here, I'm going to now go to backgrounds. And the content box, instead of white, I'm going to make the content box black. And I'm going to have an opacity of perhaps about a 0.35. All right, 0.35. I can play with the opacity. And so that's going to be it right there. Uh, from here, I'm going to actually have a background image and there's a lot of different you know background images if you just do a Google search for you know desktop backgrounds or you know any type of background image you'll come across some sites that are free where you can download lots of great backgrounds uh, I have one here so you click on this little link here where it says uh, select or upload your image and I have them on my hard drive already you click on choose file and I'm gonna go to my downloads and this is the file right here. Okay, it's actually a 1920 by 1200. Uh, what I can do, um, I should actually uh, convert that image so that it's a less, it's not so high resolution. But I'm not going to do that right now. Uh, I have a very fast server. It's, you know, I pay a lot of money for my dedicated server, so it's fast. Uh, if you have a shared hosting, you may want to, um, you know, convert your image to lower the resolution. So now I'm going to click on Upload File. And there it is right there, and it's going to be 
select image. Okay, so there it is right there. Um, I'm not going to have it repeated horizontally or vertically. And I'm just going to simply just come back up here and I'm going to save it now. I'm just going to publish this page and just to see what we got already. So I'm going to view this page and hopefully you can actually see this. So there's the page right there. Um, you know, if you if you have your browser, you can go to, you know, that URL right there. It's kind of a long URL, but WordPress testersite.com forward slash test one forward slash test dash page dash two. That's the URL um, right there. Maybe I'll give that link to you right there. I'll give you the short link. I think I can give this all to you. I'll try to figure this out. And I'll send this all to you right now, this link. Let's see here. Uh, maybe I can send this to you right here. Let's see if this works. No, that doesn't work. Remove sticky. Let's see if I can. No, that doesn't work. OK. Let's see if I can get this short link here. That works there. I'm trying to give you the link inside this hangout here. Oh, here it is. Here's right here. Okay, you ready? No, that still doesn't work. So I'll just put type it right here. And I will go. This is my one this is one of my test sites. I actually have some test sites out there. So there's a link right there. Hopefully you can get on that. And that's my test page. So as you can see, uh, it's, it's looking nicely already. And there's the image. So now I'm going to go to where it says um, autoresponder right here, autoresponder. But before I do that, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm simply going to create a, um, you know, a headline font. So I'm going to come up here to the top of the visual editor where it says short codes and click on this little pop up and I'm going to choose for example the um, Tacoma centered I like this one to Tacoma centered right there and I'm going to make the the size of the font to be for example 34 pixels the color I'm going to put as white for right now so oops I just messed that whole short code up huh. I deleted it by accident. I have to do it again. There you go. And the font will be 34. And I'm going to replace this with white at 6s to make it white. And I'm going to put the text in here. It's going to be it. access to this uh, theme for the price of a dinner for two. All right. Now that's in white. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a little color to it. Now I can add a little bit, a little bit of color to it by somebody that's just changing this color right here. Obviously, if I update this page, it's going to be white. Um, you'll see that if I refresh the the page I'm working on, it's going to be white. See that? That looks pretty cool right there. It's got a little bit of a faded uh, content box. It looks pretty cool. And I'm just going to stretch this out just a little bit more. And I'm going to turn this to, uh, for example, I'm going to highlight this right here. And I'm just going to go to the color picker uh, to click on that box there, and the color picker comes and shows. And I'm going to pick, for example, um, one of these colors here, for example. How about that color there? All right. There you go. And I can even underline the word instant access right there. Okay. And underline dinner for two. There you go. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to come and I'm just going to bring it down one line in the visual editor. 
So it's not uh, at the top of the browser. So now if I update this and if I refresh my page that I'm working on, there, that's, that's looking pretty good. And I, I can make the content box a little bit area, a little bit wider, I mean, from there. Um, you'll see now what I'm going to do now. I'm going to come down and I'm going to go to the autoresponder configuration. And from here, I'm going to first of all go click on autoresponder configuration. And you'll see here where it says this is the short code right there VEP responsive opt in. Right there, it is right there in those brackets. And I'm going to simply come up here in my visual editor right away. And I will put bracket VEP. Responsive opt in. So just get that out of the way. So there's the responsive opt in. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a second line actually. Um, before the opt in, I'm going to add a second line. So I'm, what I'm going to do, I'm going to copy, oops, sorry about that. I'm going to copy this right here. Copy. I come down. I'm going to paste it right there. So there's a second line, and I'm going to make the font a little bit smaller. It's going to be 22, and I'm going to put create. So this is another headline font. I'm going to put create mobile responsive sales and squeeze pages in. seconds all right and the font is going to be white so I'll just leave it as white 4f's I'm not going to color it at all and I will just come down below now and now we will create the opt-in here uh, first of all this is going to be a simple design right there and I'm going to have only the email only and it's going to be email only So let's come down below. First of all, you need to paste in your autoresponder code. So you just go, for example, I use get response. So I'm going to click on create new. I don't know if you can see this or not, but I'll just get my autoresponder code really fast and take off the header, footer, and I'm going to deselect de the name. And so all it's going to be is the email in my autoresponder get response. So I'm going to get the form code. Uh, for that, and you can put a thank you. You can put a thank you page, thank you custom page. Uh, you know whatever you want to have here. And so I can put, for example, um, video X press preview. All right, and I'll click on next. So I'm going to get the HTML code. I don't need these CSS styles because uh, we create our own. I'm going to copy all this, I'll right click and I'll copy all this form code and I'll come back to our configuration for autoresponder configuration and I'm simply going to paste that autoresponder form code right in there. Okay, that's all you do and you can you know you can stretch this out and look at the form code or whatever you want, all right? And here I'm going to have a email only. So it says show name, I want that off. And it says show email. Yes. Do you want to make it compulsory? Yes, it will be. And enter your email. And I can change the, the input text right here, what it's going to have. So I can put enter your email address. All right. Right there. Do I want to have an icon? I am not going to have an icon. Uh, I'm going to have no periods. So I'm going to boo. I'm going to put this in the center of it. So I'm going to. Say enter your email address, no icon. Everything else is populated already. The hidden fields are populated. It says spam message. I'm going to have a spam message here, and I need to make it a little bit white. Okay, a little bit white. And we will just go with that. So there's going to be no, there's going to be no custom fields. The submit button, we're going to custom tailor. And I'm going to put, for example, uh, this is a right. This is a great script here. Um, I'm going to put 
get instant access right there. And it's going to be a large block. There you go. Okay. We'll try that one. And there's going to be an icon. Do I want to have an icon on the button? What do I want to do here? There's going to be no icon on the button. Just like that. It's going to be say get in some access. And I will click on insert. And now we're going to add a nice cool gradient effect on that. So the gradient effect, I'm just going to simply just put on the Bravo. And I'm going to make the hue. I'm going to click on hue. I'm going to use my arrow button. I'm going to make it a little bit lighter. And I'm just going to simply just scroll down and click on insert right there. And now it says button size. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to make the button size, um, let's see here. I'll make it 22. So it's going to be 22 pixels big. And the font color is going to be white. There, that's good. There's going to be no border around the button, submit button. And that's it right there, OK? Now for the, the title, um, I'm going to simply have a where it says a subtitle. So I'm going to take out the, the, def the default. And I'm going to have a subtitle. And I'm going to put enter your email address order today. Okay. And the text is going to be white. And the font will be 16. I'll keep that as default. And I can I'll make it italic. I can make it italic or not. Um, I'm going to use Open Sans for that. I like Open Sans. And then that's that there. I can change the background. Um, what I want to have is, is about a 400 pixel wide background, or 450, doesn't matter. I'm going, to make it, I'm going to make it 400. 400. All right. And I need to come down below where it says make background transparent. Make sure you check that on. Uh, the input box is options now. I'm going to come down here. And I'm going to make this the same size font as the button. So it's going to be 22. All right. That's going to be 22. And it's going to be a block full. So it's going to go, it's going to go 400 pixels wide, uh, the input fields, the same, same as the, uh, the button. And I can come down below. And I'm just looking where it says text align. It's going to be in the center of the input box. All right, that's all I'm going to do. So that's it here. I'm not going to go over the footer options and the buy buttons. That's uh, straightforward. So that's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to come back here now. I'm going to publish this right now. And I'm going to come to my site. I'm going to refresh. And let's see what this looks like. Perfect. See how perfect that looks? That's awesome. So that's, that's how easy it is. Um, you know, that's a really nice opt-in form. Uh, I might want to make the content box a little bit bigger. I can do that, the content area. Um, if you have a big desktop computer like I do, I have a, this MacBook Pro is a great big screen. Um, you can come down here, and I can make it, uh, where's the content? Content area width, say 600. There you go. And I'll just update that. And I will refresh. There, now it's a little bit, little bit wider. So that's that's really cool. So it's it's that simple uh, to create a really nice and successful, um, you know, opt-in form. Uh, let, let me look at the questions here. So that's so that's that's it. Um, all right. Will this be in the membership area? Uh, probably. I think I, I made the replay to be public, so you can access it at any time. So make sure when you click on the replay that you uh, it should have an HD option, so you can actually see it a little bit better. 
I think. Uh, I'm new at this. This is my very first Hangout, so <laughs> if, it's, if it's successful, I'll do a lot more because I'm going in and out of different computer screens and, uh, and so forth. So, uh, yes, Doug, uh, it was a lot cheaper when I first launched this WordPress theme, uh, but it's still at a reasonable good price. Also, keep in mind that SalesPress Pro, the premium version, has all this and more. I mean, it has a lot more. And so if you want every marketing script and every ninja uh, tool that you want for WordPress theme, it's the SalesPress Pro, the premium version. is uh, You'll never need anything else. So that's it right there. And I'm just going to log off now of my, of my screen here, of my Hangout. And then I'm going to see if this actually worked as a as my first Google Hangout. Okay, so please uh, give me your feedback on my support desk. Uh, what I could have done better, uh, what worked and what didn't work. And uh, this is my first one that I've ever done. And I want to thank you for being here. And it looks like the it did fill up um, for this for this uh, this Hangout here. And so there's you know well over 100 people on here and I just was instantaneously doing this. So thank you.